What is good? It is your boy Chim and Z, and we're back at it again with another album reaction review. And today we got Sefu with his latest album, Before We Knew. Um, this follows a couple notable albums of his. Um, God is a Black Woman, 2020, Stars Are Born in Paris, uh, 2021, amazing album, and The Sword Drew Blood. My favorite so far being uh, Stars Are Born in Paris. Uh, fantastic, amazing. Um, as soon as I heard that album, I, was, I mean, I already knew the man was talented, but hearing that album, I was like, all right, damn, like he's damn near established already, like no lie. Like in the underground scene, I mean, he, he's literally, uh, I, in my opinion, he goes, he goes up there. You know, it's, it's not, it's not just, a, it's not like he's still in his come up or anything. He sounds like he already has his, has a sound, his, his direction, aesthetic, um, talent, all just solidified. And so yeah, I'm, I'm I'm very excited for this album. Um, I mean, like I said, he's 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 um, definitely you know underground still in the you know lane of you know maybe um, I don't know like Bobby you know New York Mike um, Ade Hakim um, you know them you know Zeke Ultra. So if you like if you like those if you're not familiar with them definitely definitely check them out if you like those artists. But without further ado, uh, first song is Baby Sugar Darling. Mm. Nice sample. I like that. I like that beat. Mm. Mm. This beat definitely reminds me of like Jay Dilla. I think I can sort of see the, the influence there. Fire though. Alright, that, that, that was a cool uh yeah, cool cool intro. First song. Uh next song is Love Me Deep featuring Victory Franklin. Oh mm. uh, now I got I gotta turn this up. <laughs> Oh, that is that is gorgeous. Oh, gonna take some elbow grease and rub it for me. Hard. Was amazing that that is that is precisely what I was expecting expecting from Seth. Uh, next song is Handle Me. He's saying a lot of stuff in the background, but I'm not really able to catch it. I feel like the beat is definitely the focus of the song. Our next song is Top Off Review. This definitely reminds me of his last album, um, what, The Sword Drew Blood. Um, yeah. Like, I, I, heard, I heard a lot, like, sort of, Kanye, it always a heartbreak influence, but he's still doing his own thing too. Yeah, I, I like that he's becoming more experimental, expanding his sound.
trying to dunk it like Mike. Our next song is Star Girl. Breakfast in bed featuring cruising. She got me going all types of shit, so I'ma give her all types of big Yeah, great play in the Audi, hopping over the fence, yeah, in the beat in the head. Touches from the neck, let's lift the respect there. Yeah. If you wanna stay, I'm hearing, I'm hearing the yay. I'm hearing the yay. It's hard you, though. Baby, use your hands. Don't use the plan. Be on the pull out, man. Ain't no accident that this happened. So stop the tapping it. In the back was dead. Faith was good. And your holy shot was like, ah. Oh, Right. Yeah, this is reminding me like this just given 2004. I had a dream. I'm liking it. I, I, I'm really liking it. Hey, this for all my ladies in the HOU, riding on the 610 eastbound in the beat up crew, coming home straight from TSU. Uh. See that through. Got my own crib right on through. Uh. I like this. I like this a lot. It's really playful, uh, affectionate at the same time, and just really smooth, charismatic. Um, you said, I got a thousand niggas wishing me dead. You got a thousand niggas that you left on red. I, I like that. It, it's definitely reminded me of, of Kanye a lot, like early Kanye for sure. And in the beat itself, is is also just reminding me. I get like everything about it. I like it. It, it. It's a very, it's a fun, just cool song to listen to. Laid back. Nah, nah, I know exactly. I know exactly what this song reminds me of. It's like Dipset. This is reminds me straight of like a, a, a Dipset, the Diplomats. That's hard. I like that. I like that. Going bump side, so you know she really like it. Just a common nonstop. Pull them, make it hot. Turn that AC up. We keep going. Hard. I like that. Hard. Okay. Fire. Okay, next song is Raw Blade. Let's see if it's another beat. Because I think he's been switching on and off between rapping and then like just a beat song. Or an instrumental song. Something risky, you done trick me up. Knees hyperextensive, that's how you give me up. It's happy shit, I come in after. Yeah, really feel like slapping dog shit. I didn't make it if he ain't OG or G. He told me stop the leads, that all that. Pop the beat, pretty please, Lord God. He know it may seem like life is me when I was leaking, fell on knees. I showed say I rock well, and bitches say my cock well. And if that nigga <laughs> diss, I swear to God, he's sort of rock. Well, well, so got the game locked up. Our next song is Broken Homes. Mm. Also, very experimental again. As if you were nice to me, shout out to do really try to please her. I don't pursue people I perceive. He got like two leaders of that lean bitch. I got like two. I Very, very dark, ominous. Like I say, experimental. Broken. So they say you're trying to be humble, but now, now you gotta flex. Alright, next song is airplane mode. Stop being in my whole life with God and nigga He tried me my whole life, nigga Multiple times, multiple lives Do it me Like 50 seconds? I, I was feeling that. I, I like how he came in on that. 
I, mean, I, just, I just love the way the dude raps, bro. He just comes on aggressive, really passionate. Uh, next song is Pure Potential. This is crazy. I like that. that. Okay, we got a couple like really fun tracks on here. They're very experimental. Our next song is Swahili in Air. Right. I got another instrumental. I like it. Very relaxing. Almost uplifting. Our next song is Tonight Tonight. Uh, a lot of auto-tune tracks on here, again, like, that remind me from his last album. Uh, it might not be Kanye influenced, but, because, I don't know, I, I didn't, I am really listen to 808 and Heartbreak, but I feel like that's, that's where, you know, maybe the influence, inspiration comes from. But next song is To Be Unique. This instrumental is amazing. Uh, the auto tune Loki reminds me of like Wayne, to be honest. Like 2009, Lil Wayne. Alright, but next song is Chosen Ones. Philip Bragg. This already sounds crazy. Yeah, it sounds like like psychedelic almost. how honest and personal like a lot of pretty much like this this entire project has been um yeah like and like i said you like the one thing that i really like from his music is just how passionate how passionate he he performs and how passionate like you can tell his writing is it just seems like so honest and uh and that's because it is at the end of the day i also liked how he's kind of incorporating a little bit of the out of tune um in his verse here while, while he was rapping i can't say that I'm, I'm a big, you know, I don't know, maybe I'm not a, I don't listen to too much, like, auto-tune like that, so maybe I'm just not used to it, but, you know, the parts where, yeah, the, the, the songs where he's rapping, for sure, like, yeah, fire. Alright, next song is What To Who. Crown, baby, stop fucking with the mother lady. I'll let that pipe down. 
in the arm is normal. Oh, dude, what was hard? Okay, next song is Climaxes. Yeah, oh, but regarding the, the last song, I, I was I was too like entranced. I really I really like this performance on that. I really like you know where you you kind of tell when an artist is like I don't know trying to convey something by how they say it, and so like him him sort of like coming down to a whisper trying to say something. I, I really liked it. I, I I felt like that was a good rap performance for sure. Oh, I have to commend it to him. He's, I feel like he's changing his whole thing, like his whole aesthetic almost. I, I, I mean, at least from what I know, you know. Man, this, this is hard. All right, next song is Cake Batter. Around me, arouse me. If I'm sad, we try my bond and I found some everlasting. Child stars and class. But uh, this is probably the most experimental album I've listened to this year. I can't even lie. Uh, next song is Insecurity. I, I reiterate what I said, bro. This is, this is experimental, bro. Like, very left field. Yo, yeah, bro, what am I talking about? This is, yeah. Not 808 and Heartbreak. This reminds me of Jesus, too. That's what it is. Probably like a blend between the two. On to the next and last song, All In The Chord. Damn, where did I know that? Where do I know that from? You, you won't get far with all that tough stuff. Is that is that is that him? Is yeah, that verse threw me for a loop, but um, no, I like it. I like I like this as an outro. Still experimental. Still like. Um, yeah, like I said, sort of abstract, left field, off kilter, but I, I feel like he's pulling it off. It feels like rawly creative, like creative in the most raw art form. But that concludes Sefu's album Before We Knew, and first thoughts, initial conclusions. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it's pretty much like I, I was saying throughout the album. I felt like he was trying a lot of new stuff um, or sort of building on what he sort of has established in his prior albums. I think mostly from the his last album, The Sword Drew Blood, um, where I there was a lot of auto-tune, a lot of singing, a lot of experimental, I don't know, uh, yeah, like sort of 808s and Heartbreak or Yeezus type production, type of mixing. Um, so there was a lot of here, on, a lot of that on here. Um, but then there was also, um, he, he was also rapping like he was on um, Stars Are Born in Pairs as well. Um, and I think those, I think that type of, like that style of his is, uh, is what I'm drawn to the most for sure. I think um, that's where I, well, I, may, I mean, maybe at this point, it's just what I'm comfortable with, because, you know, I like I said, I, I don't really listen to that sort of music as much, and a lot of people, and I feel like a lot of these songs are, you know, influenced or inspired by Yeezus or 808s and Heartbreak. For me, unfortunately, those are like my two least favorite Kanye albums, so that may also be why I'm not, why it's not immediately clicking. But I can still see 
from what I hear, I can still see like the vision, you know, I can still see the creativeness about it. I can still see a lot of, um, you know, uh, a lot of, not, not room for improvement, but like, like potential to do something like really crazy. That, that I feel like that's what I mean. I feel like, um, sort of reminds me of even like, um, um, uh, My Heroes Are Cornballs uh, by JPEG Mafia, where um, I, I did like that album, but like when I revisit, I do find like, oh wow, he was like really just going all out there, being very experimental, a lot of singing um, and all that. And then, you know, the album that he dropped after that, the LP was, I feel like he used that as a building block and just really like just, you know, just, just exploded pretty much like creatively. Um, and I feel like that's sort of what I feel is like brewing here. Um, but yeah, I de my favorite song is definitely the, I think it was the second one, Love Me Deep, amazing. That, that was, yeah, that, that definitely, uh, yeah, as, as long as I get a song like that, I'm fine. I'm happy with the, with the set for album. Um, and all in all, I'm very happy. I'm very proud. Um, yeah, he, he's doing a, he's doing he's doing a lot of crazy stuff. Um, a lot a lot of crazy beats on here. A lot of crazy sounds. Like it's kind of all over the place. Um, but also, still, every song I feel like still packs a punch, and it's still personal, still passionate, still deep. And like I said, that's what I like most about him. So that's uh, that's what I can expect, and that's what I got. So um, I'll be I'll be listening to this album again, but um, yeah, if, if y'all don't know about Seth, tap in, tap in, cause I'm telling you, it's, he's only getting bigger. Like he's only getting more recognition, and he's only getting better. He's uh, he definitely uh, someone to look out for, for sure. It's been your boy, Chimin. See it?